And now, this is an international conference, let us start widening the perspective to one planet, to the whole planet, because the, this session now will start to elaborate on the One Planet Initiative by the UNWTO. And to hold the keynote, there is the probably best expert that is to be found, that is Dirk Glesser, because he is the Director for Sustainable Development of Tourism at the UNWTO in Madrid. And he'll be your keynote speaker, and he'll be also, because he's the best expert for to do that, the moderator of the panel afterwards. So please welcome Dirk Glesser. Thank you very much, and let's start with a short but precise uh, definition of the issue we have uh, at hand for our discussion. We see here the Sustainable Development Goals, the unified vision of the pressing issues related to sustainable development. These 17 goals and 169 targets are at the heart of our agenda for the next years up to the year 2030 and beyond. One special dedication is related to SDG 12, Sustainable Consumption and Production. Here UNWTO is extremely committed to make the difference, to help the tourism sector to decouple its growth and the benefits tourism is bringing to the regions, to the people, from the use of resources. For the last four years, we have been leading this initiative and are supported with very active help from governments, the governments of Korea, Morocco, and France. One of the very important things in this context was the research. What does that mean in national tourism policies? If you wish to take a picture, the QR code will take you in a few days to the website where we are releasing the reports and some of the figures I'm presenting to you here and today for the very first time. For the last two years, we have been reviewing national tourism policies. And we have reviewed in there the elements of sustainable consumption and production, the commitment towards sustainability. We covered 101 countries around the world, 64% of our membership. We read those policies, we coded them, we analyzed them. We found that 100% of those policies we looked at, national tourism policies, have a reference to sustainability. This is already good news. 55% of the policies we reviewed made sound reference sustainability. Sustainability. 64% of the policies, national tourism policies, made a very interesting link. They stated that sustainability is crucial for their competitiveness. And they did not only state so, when we cross-checked then the ranking of those countries with the competitive index of the World Economic Forum, we found the correlation that those who stated that were higher ranking in their competitiveness than those who did not focus on sustainability. A clear indication of what we have to expect. A clear indication that there no longer is such a discussion dominating that sustainability is simply an additional cost, a clear statement for our future. Another correlation we found while analyzing these national tourism policies was the higher and the more prominent the focus was given on tourism at the national level, the more likely it was that sustainability in those tourism policies was prominent. A strong focus on tourism, the reflection of that in the title of the ministry, whether a fully dedicated ministry to tourism or a ministry which at least had a multi-competence where tourism was referred to, 
was more likely to have sustainability prominent in their national tourism policies. If we analyze this then thematically, we saw that only 30% of the policies touched upon the most important impact areas of sustainable consumption and production in its entire format. 96% focused of those policies on biodiversity, conservation, and sustainable land use. On the other hand, you saw that only 42%, or you see that only 42% focused on greenhouse gas emissions as an issue to be addressed. To the right-hand side of those columns, you see then whether they have used real or formulated real instruments to implement those. And you see that they are falling short. Shorter than the reference that has to be addressed. When it comes to national tourism policies and what is the next step, how are they to be implemented? We found that 79% referred to action plans as an instrument or as a framework to implement policies. 56%, the importance of monitoring tools to monitor what is actually happening in the tourism sector, whether this development is sustainable. Only 11% of those national tourism policies actually refer to public reporting, reports which are publicly available whether really this was a sustainable development which is taking place in the tourism sector. Let me come to some of the conclusions and recommendations. First of all, long-term national tourism planning is the prevalent form of addressing policies and visions in the tourism sector. Usually those plans have a duration of 10 years. Usually those plans are referring to participatory processes and objectives. However, many of those still have a single focus on, economic, on the economic angle, or at least a predominance. The evidence achieved is lacking, it's falling behind. And it's suggesting that there is an implementation gap, that we all address it in the policies, but we don't act on the ground. Therefore, it is recommended from our secretariat to use the SDGs as a framework for public actors at international, national, and destination level, across private and public sector, to align the policies on those goals and targets. To use SCP policy instruments because they have multiplying factors across the different dimensions of sustainability. To put more emphasis on timely measurement of the performance of the tourism sector in all three dimensions. What you can't measure, you can't manage. It is absolutely important to improve our performance measurement in this dimension and to incorporate georeference data in the way how we analyze our tourism performance. I thank you very much for your attention and hope that our panel discussion now will allow us to deepen and our understanding and to dwell deeper on how can we improve the sustainable performance of tourism and close the implementation gap? Thank you very much.